Yes, if you would like to do that, Fergus, we'll do what you want to do, shall we? I was going to get the vultures in the background, but if you want the topi in the background, fine. You know, who am I? Uh, oh yes, look at them. They're definitely on a wild hunting spree. How's that? Now there's Jamie's best friend, the one that's just lain down. She's got very pale fur. There we are, the lioness, very full belly. And so I think these cats have eaten very recently indeed. Yeah, they have enormous fat bellies. I suspect they were lying right here yesterday evening when we were looking for them. Unless they were on a carcass somewhere quite close by. In fact, they must have been. They must have been on a carcass where all those uh, vultures are. Now, Brizzo, are you in Boston? You've asked a very nice question about prides and their longevity as entities, I suppose. You say, do they go back many generations or do new prides come into areas uh, quite often? A lot of prides can are, are very old, and some of them, I mean, the Nkuhuma pride, I forget how old the Nkuhuma pride is, but there are some very old prides in the Kruger, and, uh, you know, they can go back... 30 years sometimes. That is quite unusual though because generally a pride will have some kind of fate befall it where you know they're either taken out by males or they're taken out by disease or something like that but interestingly what happens Brisa, is that unless the entire pride is wiped out so for example if this pride was left with one female the territory would remain almost intact and it only happens that a pride is replaced in an area when the entire pride disappears and then you know leaves a vacuum and then another pride might come into the area so many of these prides go back many many lion generations but remember lion generations are very long and when they do sort of die out then another pride will come and take over the territory, but it doesn't happen as often as you might think. But I reckon that 30 years would be a long time for a pride to hold a territory. And of course they split, you know, they split and they uh, they don't join other prides, but they will split up and eventually those, while well, let's say the sausage tree pride became 15 lionesses, it might split in two. And those lionesses, when they met up, they would uh, be very friendly to each other and their boundaries would be pretty fluid and there'd be some overlap in the territories. But as, as the generations went on, so you would find that their boundaries became more and more distinct. The lions became less and less familiar with each other and eventually they would become, well, warring prides, if you like, uh, totally exclusive from each other. Alrighty, we